Now this one is from February 25th, 1972. <laughs> and it's Liz Taylor is 40. <laughs> oh, to be 40 again. Welcome back into another video. <laughs> okay, so I had asked on the uh, in the community on YouTube last week which video you all would like to see next. And overwhelmingly, <laughs> I got, uh, it was like 95% wanted to see the long lost haul video, or long lost estate sale haul. Um, I went to an estate sale last year and never did film the haul video. I don't know why. <laughs> but anyway, Everything that I got, there's a couple of collections that I got, and let me tell you, I just cannot believe, I, I can't believe some of the, I mean, <laughs> what you'll see. Um, I have pretty much everything that I got there. There's a few things that I have sold, and because it was last year, uh, there's a couple things that I remember that I sold, and some stuff that I can't quite remember because it was last year. So anyway, just a little, you know, preface on what the video is about. Um, I also wanted to thank you all for joining me for another video. I want to thank all my subscribers. I haven't done that in a while. I feel really bad. But I want to thank all my subscribers and really appreciate y'all subscribing and watching my videos. So with that said, let's go ahead and get started. This lady or whoever had the estate sale, whoever lived there, had a massive, I'm talking massive, bird figurine collection. She had, let's see, one... She had three curio cabinets full, plus they had like a mantle, big mantle in her house was full. So she had a lot, but I mean, and I didn't buy, I bought some, but not that much. <laughs> Let me show you this big one first. This one here is a Family of Robins by Andrea Sedeck. And it looks like that. All of these are in pretty much excellent condition. No chips, no cracks. Believe me, I looked over these things <laughs> just to make sure because I know I've, this has happened to me before. I've missed things before, but I just thought that was, that was really cool. Then some of these have bases. This one here has a base. Uh, this is the Robin by Andrea, just a single Robin. And it has the wood base that it goes on. So there is that one. Now this one is, uh, this is a Tilso Japan and it is a Blue Jay. And it has kind of a, like a luster kind of look to it. That kind of pearly, lustery look. But very cute. And there's the, uh, on the bottom, the sticker. This one is also by Andrea Basadek and this one has the base. And this is the Canary. I mean, I like honestly, this was probably one of the biggest um, estate sales that I think I've probably ever been to, because it was it was the the main level, and then it was also a basement, and the basement was full. Okay, then we have this is another Andrea, and this is the Downy Woodpecker. Actually, I seen one of these in my backyard the other day. <laughs> But very nice, and there's the bottom of that one. And then here is, okay, let's switch. This one is a Lefton, and this is the Lefton Cardinal. Cardinal's a Kentucky State bird. And that's what the bottom of that one looks like. This one is a Lefton also. This is called a Crowned Kinglet. And these, like I said, I looked over these really good because some of these little petals, if you don't watch, if you're thrifting and looking for stuff at garage sales and you don't watch, some of these petals you'll miss that they've been chipped off. I looked over these really good though. And that's what the bottom of that one looks like. This is the American Goldfinch. And the bottom of that one. This one is another Cardinal by Andrea. I think it's a, supposed to be a, maybe a baby. <laughs> uh, 
a baby cardinal. And that's the bottom of that and one. And next up are these. Uh, these are Otagiri, Japan. And it's these two little, I'm not sure exactly what those are. If those are supposed to be sparrows or wrens or... I'm not, not sure if y'all know. <laughs> Leave me a comment, let me know. But anyway, they both have the stickers on them. And then I have these three little birds. These are OMC Japan. I thought they were Odagiri, but I guess they're not. They're OMC Japan. And they're the same type of bird as I just showed you. But there's the in this but the sticker's different. So that's what these look like. Set of three. Aren't they cute? <laughs> okay, let's switch gears a little bit. I have had more birds, but let's switch gears. Um, okay, I picked up this table runner. thought it was really pretty. It kind of reminds me of like, I don't know, 60s or 70s. This is kind of what it looks like there. And it's just, it's really long. <laughs> it's a pretty long table runner. And on the back, it's got Wedgwood imported by Amrose Art Linens, Inc. It's 14 inches by 48 oval, made in Belgium. And then the next thing I got was this vintage purse. Um, it's in really good condition. It's one of those um, was it alligator skin. In really good condition. The inside needs to be wiped out. It's a little bit. Uh, but overall, very, very good condition. And then I got a vintage uh, Canon full flat sheet. Then uh, let me tell you, I was I'm really surprised at how well vintage sheets sell, but they do. <laughs> they sell really good. Um Full, I don't know so much, and it's kind of hard to find kings because, you know, back in the day, they didn't really make king-size beds a whole lot, so it's kind of hard to find those. Then I got this. I don't think this is too old, but it's a nightlight, and it's an elephant with the trunk up and this kind of like tortoise, a little dusty there, tortoise kind of uh, look on its back. <clears throat> And I, I guess the brand on the bottom here, it says Cheyenne. There's little cobwebs on there. <laughs> it says Cheyenne on there. So I'm guessing this is maybe the brand. Um, but anyway, there is that. Let me show you some of these Time magazines because these were, and I won't spend a whole lot of time on these, but I just want to show you most of them, actually probably just about all of them are during uh, World War II. And I was really surprised. I do remember how much I paid for this whole stack. I've got a few of these listed, three or four of these listed, but I've got a whole stack I still need to list. Um, but anyway, most of them, like I said, are from, from uh, World War II era. Um, this one here is called Air Power. And the ads are what I thought was so, so interesting about them. I've looked through almost every single one of them, and they're so... They're so interesting uh, to look through with the different ads and how old. Uh, this one here is from December 1st of 1941. College Girl Pigtail, September 8th, 1941. How to Knit, November 24th, 1941. Ace Gorilla, August 17th, 1942. Shirley Temple Grows Up, uh, March 30th, 1942. Singapore's Commander-in-Chief, July 21st, 1941. U.S. Barrage Balloon, March 9th, 1942. This one's called Washington Worker, March 10th, 1941. Private Teed, March 16th, 1942. Very uh, World War II looking. <laughs> okay, let me switch back to some birds. 
Okay, so the next birds that I got are these Lefton pheasants. And this is what they look like. Very cool. And the bottom still has the Lefton uh, stickers on them. And then another Andrea, this is the chickadee. Like that. And then um, this one is a Nesco, and it is the Oriole. Just a little small one there. Very cool though. And then uh, this is a Lennox Cardinal, fine porcelain. And that's what he looks like. Which if you all don't know, the Cardinals, the bright red ones are the males and the more muted ones are the females. So, and that's what the bottom looks like. Now this one here, I've, I did a little bit of research on this when I first bought it uh, last year, but I'm gonna have to look it up again because I'm not sure if this is something, but it's Howard Pierce. I'm thinking that it is, um, but that's what that one looks like. Maybe not, maybe not worth anything. But anyway, really cool. Not sure what kind of bird that is. I guess it's just a generic bird. <laughs> Okay, this is another Lennox. This is the American Goldfinch. And that's what he looks like. Very cute. This one is uh, the Robin by Andrea. A lot of Robins and Cardinals. <laughs> that's what he looks like. Oh, more cobwebs. I've not cleaned these up. That and he, he has the uh, base. So very cool. Let me go back and finish up these life uh, magazines. Okay, this is called Quiz Kid Jared Darrow. And I thought this one was really cool. This is Turner and Gable. <laughs> I can't believe that I got all this whole stack of Life magazines for $5. <laughs> uh, USA's West Point. And Busiest Baby. Oh, the West Point's November 3rd, 1941, and the Turner and Gable is October 13th, 1941. August 14th, 1939. August 7th, 1939, Roosevelt's McNutt. Commander of the Canadians, December 18th, 1939. This is a little scary because this guy reminds me of Hitler. <laughs> Toscanini and Granddaughter. Some of them are not in the best of shape, but most of them are in really good shape. This is December 27th, 1939. Planes over England. November 6th, 1939. October 20th, 1941, Trips Clipper. Now this one is from February 25th, 1972. <laughs> and it's Liz Taylor is 40. <laughs> oh, to be 40 again. July 20th, 1942, this is Short Coat. A little fashion, fashion uh, edition there. This is 1936 to 1946, 10th anniversary issue, November 25th, 1946. Then I got this Newsweek magazine. This is December 2nd, 1963, John Fitzgerald Kennedy. And that's it. <laughs> oh, no, I'm sorry. I've got one more thing. Ah, almost forgot. Okay, so I picked up this whole set of left in dinnerware and I've sold it had the soup tureen it had coffee mugs it had salt and pepper shaker and I've sold the soup tureen the coffee mugs and the salt and pepper shaker salt and pepper shakers and this is what I have left I have this turkey with this dried arrangement in it I don't have this listed yet 
Uh, but anyway, really good condition, no chips or cracks. There's no, um, the sticker's not on the bottom, but it does have a number. And the other things that I sold did have the stickers on the bottom, so that's how I knew it was left in, and it was a whole set together. And then I also have, I do have these listed, um, is the sugar and the creamer. Very fallish, um, the turkey on there and the pumpkins. So probably used for like Thanksgiving. And that's it. <laughs> so guys, I hope you enjoyed it. I hope it wasn't too boring looking at all the birds and the life magazines, but they're just very, it's stuff like that when, when things that come out back then, advertising and different things like that, I find very interesting. I love looking at that stuff because it was way before I was born. Um, but anyway, I thought it was interesting and the bird figurines, um, I thought were pretty cool too. So if you enjoyed the video, please give it a thumbs up and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.